Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 21, Homework. Number 1, Sarah travels twice as far as Eli when going to camp. Ashley travels, f t travels as far as Sarah and Eli together. Hazel travels three times as far as Sarah. In total, all four travel 888 miles to camp. How far does each of them travel? Okay, so there are many different ways to solve this. I'm just going to walk through one strategy. I'm going to start by listing um, each person and how they get there. So let's start with Sarah. So Sarah travels twice as far as Eli. So I'm going to say two times Eli. Let's see, Ashley, she travels as far as Sarah and Eli together. So Sarah plus Eli. Hazel, she travels three times as far as Sarah. And then Eli is just on his own. It doesn't tell us anything about Eli, but we know that he would be half of Sarah because she's two times as much as him. So in total, all four travel 888 miles to camp. So all of this adds up to equal 888. Now, what I notice when I'm doing this is it all involve, everyone's involves either Sarah or Eli. So I know that Sarah is two times Eli. So I could go in and plug for everyone. So this is two Eli's. Sarah, remember, was two Eli's, is two Eli's plus another Eli's distance. Three times Sarah, so Sarah, one Sarah is two Eli's times three, that would be six Eli's. And then Eli is just Eli. So all together, everyone's adds up to, we have one, two, three, four, five, plus another six is 11, 12. So that all adds up to 12 Eli's. And the total is 888 miles to camp. So we know that, let's figure out just how much Eli is now. So if we can do 888 divided by 12. So 12 can't go into 8, but it could go into 88. 12 times 5 is 60, 12 times 6 is 72, 12 times 7, let's just make sure we're correct, it's 84, so it could go in 7 times, 12 can go into 48 4 times, and so Eli traveled 74 miles. So there's one part of our answer. Now that we know that Eli traveled 74 miles, we can figure out what Sarah is. So Sarah traveled twice as far as Eli. So 74 times 2. So I'll label this as Sarah so we know. So Sarah traveled 148 miles. Let's do Ashley. So Ashley is Sarah, which is 148, plus Eli, which was 74. So that's 222 miles for Ashley. And then Hazel was three times Sarah. So Sarah, again, was 148 miles. So let's do 148 times 3. Four hundred forty-four miles for Hazel. So those are their distances. There's, again, many different ways to do it. Maybe you drew a picture. Maybe you did a tape diagram. But at the end, these are the miles that you should have gotten.
Okay, number two is a brain teaser. I'm just gonna walk you through the solution. Um, so it says that a man wants to take a goat, a bag of cabbage, and a wolf over to an island. His boat will only hold him and one animal or item. If the goat is left with the cabbage, he'll eat it. If the wolf is left with the goat, he'll eat it. How can the man transport all three to the island without anything being eaten? So they're trying to get to an island. So let's say this is the goat, the cabbage, and the wolf and they're all trying to get to the island okay but if the goat is left with the cabbage he'll eat it so we can't just take the wolf over and leave the goat and the cabbage together because the goat will eat the cabbage if the goat is left with or if the wolf is left with the goat he'll eat it so we can't just leave the wolf with the goat because then They'll come back to only the wolf. So how can the man transport all three to the island without anything being eaten? Well, the first thing I notice is that the wolf can't eat the cabbage, or he won't eat the cabbage. So we can leave the wolf and the cabbage together. So our first only option is to take the goat. Let's move the goat to the island. So one, let's say, goat won't eat cabbage. Or no, sorry, wolf, wolf won't eat the cabbage. So start with the goat. Okay, so next, the man leaves the goat and goes back. So he's taken the goat over. The goat's now over here. So the man leaves the goat and returns, puts the cabbage in the boat. So now he's going to take the cabbage over and leave the cabbage. So he returns to bring the cabbage. So he leaves the cabbage, but we cannot leave the goat and the cabbage here by themselves. So the man actually takes the goat back over when he crosses. So he can't leave the goat with the cabbage. So he takes it back across with him. So now we're back to having the goat and the wolf over here. The next thing he does is he leaves the goat on the first bank and he takes the wolf across. So now he's going to leave the goat there. So he's separated the goat and the cabbage but he's gonna take the wolf over. So now it's gonna be the wolf and the cabbage. So let's say he leaves the goat and crosses to the island with the wolf. Okay, so now the goat is alone on land and the cabbage and the wolf are now on the island. So now he can just return. He returns. What's it called? I'll just call it, he returns to the mainland. and brings the goat across again.
So now it goes back, gets the goat, takes the goat, and everything is to the island, and nothing was there left there with something else that might eat it. 